friends, you are the best surprise that came from all of the sudden things in my life, and I thank God every day for you. Many have said that to be in a long-distance relationship is not easy. They were never wrong. In fact, I always acknowledge the difficulty in loving someone with too many miles apart, but I always thought that there was something so magical about this kind of love, even if not ideal. Today, Chile is Faye. I'm happy to say that I'm going to be your husband in a few. Well, it's done. I will be merely your husband, but I will be your friend, your lover, and your confidant. Even if I can promise to never hate you, because I am ill-tempered and I'll get pissed with your sarcastic laugh. Both your well thought out routine and despite the long preparation for your meals, I vow to let my love be stronger than my hate or anger. Please take my hand as your husband. I vow to begin a love story that will be mimicked by others and hopefully that it will be inspired by it. I love you. This is the dream. And I love you enough to defy the distance and to meet you incredibly when we are apart. I love you enough to choose to spend the rest of my life with you and to never leave you or live without you. With you, I found a new home. I found my true love. I found my mate. I can certainly say now that I am whole and for the rest of my life. I see these vows and promises as privileges to experience the greatness of life with you and the madness that comes with it, to walk and see amazing places with you, and to share the love God has for me so we'll both rely on the love that God has for us. Thank you for loving me, my family, and my love. I love you so much. hard work and a great sacrifice of selflessness. But you are the best person I want to go through bad times with. And I know in moments of difficulties, we are bound to be stronger as two individuals and as couples.